BTFC won Chesterfield 3 here with manager Dean Brennan. Dean, is this a bit disappointing because we did play really well tonight? Look, this business is about defending the goal and scoring the new goal. So you can play as well as you want and you can talk as much as you want. We couldn't handle the big man and in the end he's got a hat-trick and he's the difference we're in the game. Are you not um, a bit, well you just slate that defending obviously, but do you think it's a positive that he, they have the guy that's double the height of our defenders and he's only scored one hitters? Look, everyone wants a big target man, yeah. you know, every team needs one, we're in the squad, we're in the group, um, he's the difference in the game, so you've got to give them credit, give the opposition credit and over the two games, you know, they've done the more professional things, they've done the more canny street worst things to make sure they won the football match um, and the one percenters they got right, while our lads are walking yesterday, while our lads are probably with their families on Sunday, they're in doing a cool down after Saturday's game. They're in training on Monday. They're travelling this, this morning. Um, so they're doing what it takes and giving themselves no excuses and every opportunity doing a football match. Where air lads are walking. So that's something we have to address. I have to address as the manager. And it's something we will be addressing very soon. So, um, you know, we've got to lick our wounds. We've got to dust ourselves down. And we've got to move on to the next game. And uh, I'll no doubt go home now and watch the game over probably watch it again tomorrow and see how we can get to that level week in week out because that's the level and they're a side that's you know close to the bottom of that division but they've got a decent defensive record within the division they probably just haven't scored enough goals so they've got very experienced manager they're realistically a, a league football club and if we want to aspire to be at that level we've got to get to them standards do you think um it's kind of like both the teams played like each other in the league where normally we score a lot of goals and um, and they defend and they uh, sorry don't score a lot and they waste their chances uh, not <laughs> look you can talk about things and you can you know they do this we do that at the end of the day they're a professional football club yeah. we're not not at this moment in time we've got the structure to be um, and we have to strive to, to get to that level as quick as we can you know, if we're going to win football matches more consistently and we're going to stop conceding goals, clean sheets are so important. And we haven't kept enough. You know, we haven't kept nowhere near enough clean sheets. And um, you've just got to congratulate the opposition. And uh, we've got to see how we can improve, which I've already got the plan in place to do. I said I'd do an eight-week assessment. That assessment's over. So we've got to make changes, you know, because we want to be at that level. Simple as that. Uh, on that eight-week assessment, as you've now completed it, you've just told me, one thing you think since you came and I asked you this before we've improved through that eight week assessment yeah probably the way I want to play but there's not enough contact time with the players guys uh, look, I haven't seen the players since Saturday we drew Saturday you know they had three attempts on our goal in the second half they scored a two that's not good enough you know no disrespect to Hungerford I think they'd only scored 14 goals this year we're in the league campaign before they played those they get two against us this team have only scored 16 goals I think we're in their league campaign that's not good enough and there's no we've got to create a no excuse environment at the minute a lot of the players have got a lot of excuses because they're in work and stuff like that so that's something we have to change and that's something that will change I would ask you what you've improved but you've made it really clear with the other guys um, I'm sure one of them will be restarts yeah, but you need, it's already talking about it. Anyone yeah. can do that. You know, you can tell me what the problem is. I can do that. But how do you improve that? Yeah. You know, how do human beings improve visually, verbally, and practically? And they're the three things we've got to tick. And at the minute, we can visually watch out on a video. We can talk about it, but we can't practically do it. Yeah. So you've got to be practically, practically doing things. And uh, we haven't had the opportunity to do that. They've probably had two training sessions before they played today. So we haven't. And that's the difference. That's called the one percenters. That's called being professional. And, uh, you know, like I said, we congratulate them. You've got to congratulate them. Yeah. They're a good side. Got a good, really good experience manager. So um, we'll lick our wounds and we'll go again. And we've got to start improving fast. All right, thanks, Dean. All right, lads. Cheers. Cheers, lads.